hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be my one year update on a video i did last summer which was called well i titled it switching to japanese skincare so i will link it right here and then down below so it's been one full year since i have made that video and also if you did want to start a japanese skincare routine in your own daily lives and you just still had hesitations or questions and you didn't know if it was worth it or not i hope that this video will be helpful and answer some of those questions uh, so yeah, let's just get into it. Changes just to let you know a little bit about my skin type and background. I do have dry, sensitive skin. Um, that's more leaning towards the eczema prone side. It's just very sensitive, super dry. Getting into the main results of what I saw when switching to Japanese skincare thing is that the skin hydration level and the health of my skin, the overall health of my skin has changed. What I mean by that is my skin almost has been fixed in a way to be a little bit more healthier than it was is because a lot of Japanese skincare products even if they're from the drugstore have very calming ingredients that is good for sensitive skin and overall benefit the skin in the long run so common ingredients that you'll see a lot of the times to help skin hydration levels and the healthiness of skin are fermented soybean uh, soy milk barley or wheat extract those are very common ingredients it helps to condition the skin hydrate it on the first basic level of it but with consistent use of those type of ingredients it takes it to the next level and then i'll get into it it like brightens your skin so since i do have dry sensitive skin i found it really hard if i skipped one day of skincare my skin would get dried out and i would pay for it for the next like four to five days but with using japanese skincare of course i try not to skip a day but if i do my skin doesn't get as dried out as when i used to use western products on it the dryness was still there but it wasn't as bad so that's the first thing that i've noticed that it was really effective at hydrating the skin making it feel a lot more healthier second result was definitely after switching i saw the softness and texture of my skin improve dramatically so what i mean by that is that i used to really have like raised bumps around my t-zone and the texture of my skin from being dry would have a lot of uneven dry patches and it was just not always it just was never like a smooth completely smooth canvas but when switching and doing the morning routine consistently i found that my makeup laid on smoother and that those ingredients that i mentioned the soybean uh, the soy milk the barley and the skin conditioners really helps my skin overall become a lot softer and plumper. So I'm going in order. So the first step you're gonna see, like I said, is the dryness level. The second step is you're gonna see is the softness and texture level. And then the third step, if you consistently keep doing it, is the brightness and hyperpigmentation lightening. So overall, I felt like my complexion has brightened with using Japanese skincare. So since many of the products do focus on brightening or if you see whitening, it doesn't really mean like it's going to to turn your skin lighter it just overall helps the brightness of your complexion but with consistent use make your skin look a ton like a hundred percent brighter but it takes a little while to do that i just felt like overall my complexion without makeup was a lot brighter i didn't have to rely on so much concealer or you know glowy dewy products makeup products to bring that glow and that brightness in my skin i noticed too before consistently making the switch uh, when i didn't use japanese uh, skincare routine in the morning time my skin would look a lot duller it would look a lot more shallow meaning like i could see like blue veins and like patches uneven patches of skin tone on my skin in natural lighting but when using and switching to the routine it looked a lot more even toned so i didn't really see those blue veins as much i didn't feel like my skin looked as dull or as dry and then as far as around the eyes and hyperpigmentation that has definitely lightened as well i really recommend too looking into japanese spot treatments if there is a certain area of like an acne scar or a dark spot from the sun that you really want to lighten because they will lighten it over time gently and it's not going to like burn your skin the ingredients aren't too harsh it just naturally lightens evens everything out going off from the complexion looking a lot brighter the skin looking a lot more healthier and less dull that really ties into also anti-aging as well and i do notice too since switching from last year the wrinkles around my eyes and like you know where i put my concealer it used to kind of crack those have kind of plumped up they're a little bit more filled so i do to contribute that to switching. So those were the main results that I seen with switching. Even watching my older video, my skin I felt like looked in that video a lot more textured and I had the same like makeup routine on, but it just, the makeup did not settle on the skin as well. So I just think overall the health 
of the skin really did change. That being said, I am going to just tell you guys which three types of products are really good to start incorporating. Maybe you don't want to switch completely. So these three product categories I do think make a really big difference and they show the quickest results. So the first and foremost, I think it's just the best one to incorporate is skin conditioners. Now there's very many. I talk about the Naturey one a lot. Once using skin conditioning products from Japanese skincare, my skin started going back to the first result overall change like the healthiness of my skin changed it didn't dry out as quick and it bounced back a lot differently so when it says skin conditioner it really does condition your skin the condition of your skin will change if you're really dedicated into seeing the results what you want to do is get a big bottle like this and you just like cup it in your hands pat it in uh, do two to three layers and just let it dry to your skin every single day you just got to keep doing it every single day and then slowly you'll notice that this condition of your skin will start to change you're gonna feel that it feels a lot softer it looks a lot brighter and just the texture changes you you're just gonna feel it Once you start to do consistently and see the results don't back away from it that means that your skin is taking the product and it's actually working so you could just cut it down to once a day no matter how you know many times you want to do it it's still okay to do two to three times uh, but once your skin starts to change you can just cut it back to once a day but there's not a day that i miss i do use this on my skin every day it's really good for your body as well if you do want to change the condition of your skin for the long term get yourself a skin conditioner it works I was a little skeptical too. I was like, how is this milky water going to even help? But it's like a miracle water in a bottle. There are two Japanese skincare products that I really do think makes a difference and I will incorporate for the rest of my life is Japanese sunscreens. Just in general, wearing sunscreen helps to protect your skin, helps with anti-aging and hyperpigmentation, and it's just really good to get into the habit of putting on. So the reason that I say that after switching, I've seen the result is because this is the only sunscreen or Japanese sunscreens in general was the only ones that really made me switch to using a sunscreen in my skincare routine. Main concept of drugstore Japanese sunscreens, even though there's like, they claim to say like milks, essences, is that they're all really lightweight. See, they break down really quickly and they almost turn to water or to nothing. So it's just really easy to remember to put this on after your moisturizer. I really do love them. I highly suggest if you haven't tried a Japanese sunscreen to just check it out. This one's my first suggestion, the Biore UV, but I do have a whole video where I break down all different types and all different brands. So there's a lot of options out there to choose from. Um, just my suggestion is to just try one Japanese sunscreen incorporated into your routine. I do notice that those dark spots don't reappear as quickly and you know they're just the sun damage is not as present um, when using a sunscreen so it just helps protect your skin and it will help in the long run with anti-aging with those wrinkles that the sun can create so that's the second one i think is really worth incorporating if you want to switch the third one that i would really say has made the biggest difference is japanese foam cleansers there's many different types uh this one i have right here is a cell foaming cleanser so it has a pump and the foam is already made for you but i do still like the traditional foaming cleansers they have to use a net with to create the foam uh, those are still really good not only are they gentle but they do still remove dirt and oil and and many of them just don't clean the skin. They have ingredients, gentle ingredients to help brighten them. Think of cleansers back in the day before switching is that they just clean the skin. Uh, they're to take off your makeup, take off the day, but they don't really do much else other than clean the skin. But what's switching to Japanese cleansers? I noticed over time that this is an important part because it does help brighten the skin. The favorite ones that I like to use is I always look for the ingredients that the cleanser has, either soy milk or soybean. Um, I do really like sake as well. And, um, uh, rice so those all will help to clean the skin still remove all your makeup and dirt but over time really help brighten and soften and i do find that it's really worth it for drugstore japanese cleansers because they are really good quality they do clean your skin really well but they have those ingredients that benefit your skin that help the health of your skin in the long run so my third choice definitely would be cleansers that really have made a difference once i switched the number one rule to keep in mind if you do switch is consistency now think not quick results with all skincare, it's just about doing it and doing it every single day in order to see results and to make sure that the progress of your skin just overall changes for the long term. So never think of like short term when it comes to skincare, 
long term if you just go from a basic cleansing and moisturizing routine is that it might feel overwhelming but i would just say to just slowly start your routine with it and make it almost like a ritual especially going from like a western like basic skincare routine to like an asian multiple step one it does seem overwhelming at first but just find what works for you start to incorporate those steps slowly and then it'll be like second nature and then the skincare will become a lifestyle it won't become a chore and just one last point i do want to make is that once switching to japanese skincare i did find that the drugstore products did perform as well as high-end western products once you get into the Asian spectrum of it, there's a lot of really affordable products that have beneficial ingredients that work just as good as high end. Of course, I, you know, I'm not bashing luxury skincare. It's still really good and it's very fancy, but for a budget price, point uh japanese skincare drugstore is definitely so with that being said i am just going to end this video here i do hope that you found it helpful if you were looking to switch all right so if you guys do have any other questions please leave it in the comments down below and i will answer them there uh don't forget to subscribe for more skincare videos and i will see you in my next one bye